Hello everybody, this is Tech. In this video I'm going to be going over the Bucket Plugin Log in Security. What this plugin does is it allows you to set a plugin, making it yourself a little safer, and it blocks the commands and chat until the password for your account that you've set has been entered, and there are some config options to make it required, optional, and your has MySQL support. So getting right into it, I'm going to set a password, so you're just going to want to type forward slash set pass, and give yourself a password, so I'm just going to say my name. And it said your password has been set to Brandon, and then if I log out, and log back in, it says please log in using login password, so I'm going to log in, and type in my password, and then it will say log in, and then I'm free to do whatever I want. And you can also remove your password by typing rm pass, and that will remove your password. Oh, one sec, you have to do rm pass, and then your password to remove your password. Password removed, and then I can add it again, so I can do set pass, Brandon. And then I, you can always change your password by typing change pass, and then type in your old password and then type in your new password and then it says your password has been changed to tech hut and that's that so if I log out and log back in it's not going to allow me to do anything it's going to make everything super dark if I try to say anything it's going to ask me to try to log in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type log in and then type in my new password just like that and I've successfully logged in and there's one admin command you can do ls.admin which is the permission node but the command is forward slash lac and that will see your change pass player and you can also reload so you can change other players passwords and reload the plugin or reload the plugin config so now let's get into the configuration of this plugin of this plugin, we can go into our plugins, and after you've installed it and ran your server, it should create a folder called Login Security. We can go into that and go into our config and move that right in here. And as you can see, there are your options. You have the password required, you can set that as true or false, so making it so you people have to use passwords. You can use an encryption method, you can use blindness. You have blocked characters, so characters people are not allowed to use when making passwords. You have an update checker, you have the minimum password length, the maximum password length. We have the sessions, so use and timeout. So if that's going to time people out for not typing in their password, you can time them out that way. And then you can also set a timeout for true and set the time. And then you have your MySQL information, which I recommend using if you have that. If you're not going to use MySQL, then there is a data folder that everything will be saved in. So as you can see, it says password use. Brandon Hopkins is using it. and password Brandon Hopkins and that is their encrypted password so the administrators can't see it that is what this option is for um, use MD5 encryption true so if I were to set that to false in the data area it would just show the password this is the encrypted format so that is about it for that plugin once again the permission node is ls.admin for the admin command I hope you have a fantastic day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. There will be a link to everything in the description, and goodbye.